And we're back, you guys. Let us continue. So last time, we find this little girl. I waited till night by accident. <laughs> I usually go out in daylight, but I'll I'll tell you now when you when we get this cutscene, um, I'll explain why it's better to go on daylight. Although it doesn't change much of the story anyway. things? Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh, shit. You hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up, too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh shit! It's Chad! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! Now, if you go on daylight, Chet is alive, and you leave with him and the other guy. You never meet the cop. But, um. But if you go at night, then unfortunately Chet dies, and you get to meet the cop. That's the only difference between these scenes. But you know, if you choose daylight, you'll save a life, basically. <laughs> and going out at night is not really smart, considering that at night you have more chances of being attacked and not see it coming. So it's not really smart, and... Yeah, but that's the only difference. It's not a big, like, a big deal, except that someone dies. <laughs> Say hi to your dad. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care, you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. By the way, this is the same Herschel from the show, but he's a comic book version of him. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Uh, 
It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. If you say a bad word, she'll repeat the bad word later, so... Uh, I don't know, it doesn't change much, but... I'm trying to do a good guy run. <laughs> Later on, the game explains uh, why he was arrested and all that stuff, so... It's a spoiler if I, if I say it, so we'll just wait on it. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. Our family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. So let's interact with everybody and get them get to know them. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... 
the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, huh? Well, Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. All right, let's move over here and talk to Kenny, who's working on the car. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Kachi wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know, see you. All right, so let's move on to these, this guy over here who's working on the fence. I'm going to help him out a little bit and ask him a few questions. you got to talk to people to move the scenes to the next. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm 
sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. So now we talk to Herschel. He's going to give us some advice. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Now we're gonna have to make some quick decisions. Here we have a choice. Either we can help this guy, whose leg is pinched under the tractor, or we help the kid who is being grabbed by a zombie. I think it's common sense to help a kid. Keep in mind that whatever you choose, he still dies. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Got that ride to make it if you want it. Basically, the only dialogue that changes if you try and help the guy is that uh, Herschel is not going to be mad at you, but he's still going to want the others to go and they're still going to give you a ride to make it. But basically, everything ends up exactly the same. Kenny manages to save Doug, Duck, and the other guy still dies, so 
there's little change in that scene no matter what you choose. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Alright, so this is as far as I'll take it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.